How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning, and uh, getting ready for this book sale. Got my scanner charged. Got my GoPro charged. And I'm tired. So, looks like it's Saturday, and uh, it's probably going to be about a 15-hour workday. Maybe longer. So, I don't know. So, you still want to be a reseller after this? I mean, after you see this lifestyle, it's hard work. And you got to you gotta keep your nose to the grindstone and you gotta work hard like that's what you gotta do so I don't know is it for you maybe that's for you to decide so I just pulled up to the book sale um, kind of waiting a little bit they open at 930 so I'm gonna probably walk in here in a few minutes uh, get my spot in line a lot of people ask me a lot of people ask me they're like how do you do this you know, and that's what, this is what I'm getting at, okay, is today I'm probably going to work anywhere from like 12 to 18 hours a day. And that's how I, that's the only way I can level up my business is working crazy amounts of time. And time is the only resource we have to do that, right? So if you have to go to book sales, you have to take the time. And there's no secret sauce into reselling and, and, and here's my take on this okay I don't look at this as reselling okay I, I do it is reselling okay but I wake up every morning and I'm like I'm an entrepreneur I don't see myself as actually a reseller and I, and I am a reseller but I'm an entrepreneur too and that's what you have to look at it as is you have to think like this as a business not a hobby not a and it is a treasure hunt. It definitely is. But you have to think of it as a as as a business. And that's the most important thing. I'm not gonna lie. I've been I've been where a lot of people have been. I've been on food stamps. I've been on state and government aid. And the only way for me to break free from that was to get off of it. And uh and break free and make money. And that's what you have to do. You have to break out and you have to make money. And a lot of people just, there's two secrets to this. There's two secrets, work and knowledge. And if you don't want to put in the work, you're not going to be successful at this. That's just how it is. You got to put in the work. So today I'm going to go out and this library sale starts at 930. And I'm probably going to be here for like three to four hours scanning books. And then I'm probably going to go out, maybe do a little RA, uh, whatever else, I don't know. And I'm going to film YouTube content probably most of the day today. Then I'm going to go home and probably either send all my books to FBA or list on eBay because I haven't listed on eBay all week because I've been so busy. So once again, it's probably going to be like an 18 the 20 hour day <clears throat> and that's what you have to be okay with is you have to be okay with putting in the work because if you're not then you're not you're gonna sell here and there you know once in a while a couple things you're not gonna you're not gonna level it up <clears throat> which is what a lot of people want and uh, I don't know maybe you got to think you know do I want to make a hundred dollars a week or do I want to make three thousand Every two weeks. I don't know. That's what you got to ask yourself. That's what you have to be okay with. Because I've been to where, like I said, I've been to where a lot of people have been. I've been in poverty. I've been, you know, my mom worked two jobs. I didn't come from money. I came from nothing. Like I, my parents had nothing. They were poor when I was growing up. That's the, that's the, the, the sauce right there. That's where my hustle comes from is that. And I, I'll be honest, like if you didn't have that in your life ever, or if you didn't have that, you know, in your life, I don't know what would motivate me to hustle. Uh, not having money motivated me, you know, not having money motivates me to hustle. Not having money from the, the past motivates me to hustle. I've been broke. I've been poor. I've, I've had nothing. And that's the motivation you get. And that's why you stay hungry. Uh, if you don't have that, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you would be hungry to go make money. And that's where I think a lot of people 
fall into is a lot of resellers is some of them may have really really good jobs where they're making bank and that's why they're not hungry or maybe they just don't want to do it I, I don't know but that's the motivation that's the motivation is stay hungry and get out there and then just do it right <laughs> just just get out there and buy stuff and sell it So I just left the library sale, sourced about 39 books in a couple hours. Uh, I have 39 books sourced and I'm getting ready to go eat lunch uh, by noon. So it's noon here. Uh, so I'm going to probably go eat lunch. I'm going to hit one thrift store and then probably go back home and start processing books. Um, I'll show you. I'll show everybody how much I got. Um, I got books ranging from 60 to $30. And then I got a bunch that are like 20 and below, but yeah. So this is what I got. So this whole bag, this bag, that box back there in this bag, I have a couple books that ranges for about $60, probably close to 60. I got some that ranges around 30, about probably at least 10. That's around 30 to 40, um, three around 60 and the rest like around probably 20 and below so yeah i would say we killed it we paid 39 dollars for everything so 39 dollars for everything completely so killer score Expensive. Hey, Prices are really expensive in here. I found a ton of good clothing, vintage clothing, but it was all either broken, stained, or $20 a piece. So I'm thinking I got one book so far. It's like four, $3 in profit. <laughs> Better than nothing, I guess, right? Roger Clemens. It's like so damaged though. Look at that. That could have been good, but it's just really damaged. A350. So I'm gonna have to look that up. Wilson A350. What is this? Stud finder. Alright, 
Yeah, that globe does not sell very well. Nope. Big no on that one. What else we could find? Probably not a whole lot. <sighs> I'm about ready to blow this popsicle joint. This popsicle stand. Well, that was kind of a bust. That thrift store kind of sucked. I didn't get anything but one book. Um, found a bunch of really cool vintage clothing. The prices were outlandishly high. Most of it was stained and the holes were broken, so I just left it. So that's the end of my book journey today. Don't forget to hit the hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me and show me some support. Comment down below this video if you like it. Um, you know, I did this more as like a motivational video. It was like, hey, you can do this. You just got to put yourself out there and you just got to do it, right? And a lot of people, they don't. And so motivate yourself to get out there, rise above everything and crush it. Okay, just rise above it. Like I, I started this business with $20 in my in my savings account. That's all I had in there. Um, so literally I'm not rich right, you know, right now. Uh one day I might be, but I'm not right now. And so I keep hustling, but I'm hungry. And so just stay hungry, everybody. Peace.